good afternoon everybody happy friday end of the week for a lot of you hope it's been a good week i'm home been home for about an hour now uh, just having a coffee sitting in the sunshine here Knackered. what a busy day today um not seen the boss about the van i uh, uh, don't know what the score is with regards to it hopefully it won't be off the road too long we'll wait and see um yeah, just been non-stop today. It's been like a couple of obscure jobs thrown in the middle, which is like meant I've had to have me me toe down pretty much all day, um, not had anything to eat, apart from a pasty which I wolfed down when I was waiting to get out of a lay-by into traffic. Um, but yeah, been a busy, busy day. And um, George has finished school now for for summer holidays. I think she's been on a walk today. Oh, I seem to do a walk the last day of the, the term. It's a long walk, which I suppose gives the cleaners and teachers in the school and everything the chance to do stuff, tidy up and everything, you know. So a few teachers go out on the walk with them. And it keeps the kids out of the way for a while. Uh, Denise, I don't think I had too bad a day. I'll let her tell you in a minute. But Hey, what it's been warm and at some point today i've had the i've had the temperature gauge switched on and the, the boss's car i've been using the boss's car yeah so i've had the temperature gauge switched on all day now on the dashboard and be watching it going up and down it's been like between 23 then it went it was 26 degrees at one point and oh, i've been sweating all day all day but busy day i'm glad to be home just got like a half day to do tomorrow then I've got Sunday off and I can't wait. Knackered. Knackered. It's like busy at work and the heat. It's just wiping me out. <laughs> but I had a good night's sleep last night, mind. Um, we watched, I think, two episodes of Dexter. Um, which was quite funny. Georgia walked into the bedroom at one point when Dexter's uh, getting it on with his girlfriend. And it's just like, oh, what are they doing? Ah, yeah, you're watching this. Oh, what are you watching? This is Dexter. Ah, I don't want to be seeing that. <laughs> and, uh, it was quite funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so I watched a couple of episodes of that. Then I started watching Scrubs and straight away, I mean, my eyes were like, oh, Denise, a couple of times told us, turn the TV off, go to sleep. I tried to watch it, um, but then half eleven, I like, nah, turned the TV off and <laughs> going, going to sleep and, like, and I slept all the way through to this morning, it was lovely. Just brought this out, this is what Denise's uh, dad, the fossil-in-law, uh, brought us, which is, what is it again? Gino de Campo. Is it? Some, I'm sure he didn't look like that on telly. Some sort of pasta with sausage and... Sausage. Yeah. Sausage. Lovely. Mm, it looks tomato based. Sausage. There she is. Finished for the summer holidays. Yay! Yes. Get in. <laughs> Had a good day at school. Yeah. You enjoy your walk? No. How, mm -hmm. how far was it? All the way to Newburn. Which is how far? I don't know, but probably like an hour's walk. Feels like an hour's walk. What, there and back or an hour each way? An hour each way. Alright. Probably. Good day at work. <laughs> busy, busy day at work. Hot day at work. Boiling. Boiling. I, um, I stayed till two, then Georgia rang us and said she was finished. So. Alright. Mm. Yeah. God bless us on my feet. And she's got her new socks on. Even though it's boiling hot, she's got her socks I on. I bought like two, two things of socks. Alright. So I've got like a blister there and a blister like there. You can feel it through the sock. After three. One, One two, two, three. Aww. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a little violin. Little violin. <laughs> <laughs> you won't walk then. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get on with this. Catch you later. Wow. How talented is Georgia getting? Mum made the mashed potato, but... Uh, still. Um, but the... Right. Gordon Ram, tell you, remind us, Gordon Ramsay. Red onion. Ro red onion. Caramelized, sorry, caramelized red onion sausage. Right, ca pot. caramelized red onion sausage casserole. Hot pot. Hot pot.
and Georgia done it all. Hey, getting good. Well done. Very nice. I tell you what, I hope it tastes as nice as what it looks, cause it and how nice it smells. No, no. Just missed the red arrows. You can just see the loop in the sky there. The RVS red arrows. Don't know what they're doing here. Yeah, they're supposed to be down Sunderland, which is about like ten mile down the coast. That's just doing practice. But they all just come over the house there and sort of spread out. You can still hear them. They might be going back to the airport. No. You were singing there. No. Yes. <laughs> the song master doesn't like us singing, so he's singing. So we stand there going. Good evening, guys. Hello. <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Uh, I've just come up. Um, just about to watch some more Dexter. Just Denise has just been telling us about the, the horrible events that's happening in Munich. Munich. Munich, yeah, with the, the gunman at McDonald's. Wow, that's that's bad. And you see the gunman still on the loose. Yeah, still, yeah. there's three of them still still looking for them. Wow. How many injured or killed or whatever? They said six dead, but they're not sure. Oh, they, maybe there could be more wounded and stuff. God, that's in a McDonald's. But the man, the world's gone crazy, it has. Um, yeah, we've had a question sent through from David Howarth uh, for questions and answers. And it is... Denise will probably answer this one better than me. So yeah, I just heard the birds there. <laughs> I was worried when I hear the birds because yeah, I think Franklin. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be one coming through the castle. Um, yeah, it's why do the fossils always make our Sunday dinners? They've done it for years, haven't they? It's just been like a tradition that they've always done. Um, for me, great grandma and granda were alive, they would make their dinner. For them and take it up every Sunday and then your great grandma and granda. I've just seen Nana and Granda. Yeah, my mum and dad's not me Nana and Granda. Yeah, me Nana and Granda. I was gonna say did, did you know your great grandma and granda? I'm getting they? mixed up here. I'm tired. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a long day. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, me Nana and Granda. It's her Nana and Granda and I'm the one correcting her. <laughs> oh, that's tickling me fancy. Oh god. Oh. There was too much wine in that food that Georgia just made. Yeah, it must have been, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they've just uh, always, always just made it for me dad's mum and dad and the Nawas and, and that. And it's just one of those things now. When they go on holiday for two weeks, Sunday dinner. I know, I've got a fan for myself. So it's shocking. <laughs> I keep saying, well, if you've gone away, at least... Freeze some and put it in the freezer for me, you know, make make it in advance. I'll not tell you what the reply is though of me mum. <laughs> we'll play a little quiz. There's two words. It's, <laughs> it's four le four letters and three letters. <laughs> make your own mind up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, there was, it used to always be a Sunday dinner, like a roast or something like that, you know, like meat. But then it started changing it. Like Every now and then they'll do like the uh, meatballs and spaghetti or mince and dumplings yeah. for me. Sometimes or, my dad will do this. Is it like a Spanish chicken or something? Um, it's like yeah. chicken and some sort of, I don't know. I'm trying to think what the other one is. Is it bean shoots? Not the bean shoots. It was something else he used to make as well. Mm. City loves to cook. I think that's where Georgia gets it from. Yeah, yeah. And the... Even though they don't get it for Sunday dinner, they do make a mean pasticcio, which is. <laughs> so we have Greek in my family. Yeah, it? yeah, I have, I have a Greek uncle. Yeah, and um, and, and our auntie has moved across to Greece. Uh, Ooh, a long time ago. Salmina, which is yeah. uh, one of the islands close to Athens. Well, they live in Athens. Yeah. That's where their main house is, but they have like a summer house where they live most of the year. In Salamina. In a small village. Yeah, it's great there. It's yeah. not touristy or anything. It's hardly anybody speaks English. It's lovely. But pasticcio is this like, it's a lot, it's mince, big tubes of pasta. 
um, a lot of cheese, a lot of cream. It's about this thick. Yeah, it's delicious. It's, um, it's lovely hot or cold. I yeah. prefer it cold, actually. Yeah. Um, it always reminds me of a multi-layered lasagna. But similar, just but you've got, a different. Yeah, for, yeah. A bit different, but similar in the same way. Yeah, it's but really nice. Pat, check it up on the internet. It's really nice if if you can make it. Um, I, I understand it's quite difficult to make if you're not used to it. Yeah. Yeah, but it is really, really tasty though. Mm -hmm. um, pasticcio, just Google it so you, you'll find it. Mm. Yeah. Um, Lovely. Aye. So. so yeah, and my dad even came up tonight. Oh well, you showed the food. Yeah. Oh the. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay's meatballs. No. No, oh, sorry, no. Gino De Campo. G oh, Gino De Campo's meatballs? Yes. All right. <laughs> no, Gino De Campo. That oh, was really tasty, that. It's nice. I'd rather have Gino's than uh, Gordon. I'm sure you would. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking more Nigella. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nigella Lawson. Yes. Yep, I'll help her with the whipped cream, no bother. So, um, well, Nothing. Yeah. anyway, so yeah, that's Friday over and done with. This one's off already for the weekend. Yep. Uh, I've still got the half shift tomorrow to do. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. It's going to be just like today. Then Sunday when I'm off, get in. It's going to rain. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, well. <laughs> it's my cooler well, down a touch. Be. Yeah. Okay, but well, that doesn't stop us going down to the rendezvous cafe, standing on the beach in the rain, enjoying it. No, no not for me, because I'm, I'm used to the coast. But townie here, you know. Oh, townies. Bit, yeah, can't cope with the the, <laughs> the bad weather. <laughs> anyway, so, we'll get going. Uh, thanks so much for popping by, and thanks, David, for the question. Uh, don't forget, David Howarth, his radio shows on Saturday. I think it's... Floor fillers and dance. Oh, he did say floor fillers and oh, club classic. Club classics, club classics yeah. this week. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's, uh, five o'clock. Um, five till seven. Five till seven. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what the. I can't remember the name of the. <laughs> can't remember the name of the channel. Uh, but if you go back through my other videos, I think I put I put a link on there. And there's some. I think it's on my Facebook and Google Plus. So, yeah. So I'll catch you all very soon. Have a brilliant weekend. And what is she sniggering at? I'm not doing it. <laughs> you sniggering? Nope. Yes. Her who hoards cans of coke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, so have a good weekend. Uh, take care. And speak to you all very soon. Bye. Bye. Doing turns this thing. Blanca. <laughs> She's not there.